guys, it's Pete here again with Pete's Carport, and today we're going to talk headliners and some of the issues that almost everyone out there has with any vehicle five years plus, specifically here in Florida. So let's take a look at it. All right, guys, so my obsession over fixing a headliner started specifically with my 95 S500 and mainly because almost every one of you guys out there have run into this issue now with these cars um, reaching 20 years plus. And what specifically happens to those ones is the really nice thick uh, padding that they put on the um, sunroof headliner gets jammed up underneath the uh, sunroof as it pulls back and causes um, major issues. And so um, many people have tried different things and most people just wanna fix it themselves. They don't wanna go and spend a lot of money at a shop and they just want it to look good and not have the glue that is underneath that headliner uh, get on everything in the car. So I started to look into different things that I could do, uh, possibly putting a wood coating over it, which I might still look at. And recently, I got a 2007 Volkswagen Passat, which had a drooping headliner. Very, very common here in Florida with the heat. Uh, the glue does come undone. So um, what I started to do with that one is think this is going to be an easy fix. I was very excited about it and began to make a video and went down and picked up some uh, basically headliner and carpet adhesive. This is a heavy duty by Permatex. It works awesome. So I'm going to basically now cut in some clips of what I was able to do. Um, basically brought it back to like new condition and was very excited until I went to use it. So let's go ahead and take a look at the process that I did. And this still might work for some of you All out right, there. guys. So this is how the headliner for my uh, sunroof slide cover looks right now. And this is a 2007 Volkswagen Passat wagon. And um, what I'm planning on doing, and mainly um, I had shut it closed and it was a hot day and I went to, I uh, had this all the way back and I went to reopen and it kind of pulled it all apart. It was kind of barely drooping. But now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start right here. Uh, I just went into Lowe's and picked up um, some glue. I've used this before and it worked really well on some headliner and a uh, putty knife. And what I'm gonna do is first start here and get that all jammed up in there with the glue along that edge and let that dry overnight and then I'm gonna actually pull this out because that is all uh, mangled up in there so it's not even straight and I'm gonna spray um, some headliner adhesive all through there and kind of press it out so I'm gonna go ahead and get started now on the um, getting this first part done and then we'll continue. The All right, guys, so it's a new day, and you can see here I've glued that front section down really nicely and uh, decided to pull that whole back area down so that we can get it back in there very nicely. And I'm going to go ahead and use uh, this Gorilla Glue spray adhesive. There's many different brands. I like this one. You can pick one. And what we're going to do is we're going to start from this side, and we're going to spray a strip, press it in, make sure it stretches really nicely in there, and we're just gonna work our way to the back and when we get to the back, we're probably going to use uh, that standard glue, this, the fabric glue that we used earlier and glue it and press it into that back area with the putty knife. So let's go ahead and get started. When I get to that area, I'm gonna show you guys what we're gonna do. Alrighty guys, so we've got a lot of this up in there now. Uh, one thing I do wanna point out is mine was very stretched out. Uh, that's probably gonna be pretty uh, common among these because as this uh, material gets hot, it is gonna stretch, and that is usually what happens. So I'm gonna leave a lot of this uh, parts like up in the corners here for the very end. And what I did here is I used um, some painter's tape, taped off the actual headliner, and we're gonna spray this back edge, and then we're gonna tuck it. We're gonna spray it, let it dry maybe five minutes or so, and then we're gonna tuck it back under there and we're gonna leave that till tomorrow and then we're gonna try to tidy up some of these edges here and uh, see how everything looks. I'll show you guys tomorrow. Some of these black spots here are the glue seeping through. So one thing I did notice, um, 
I did spray the entire thing. I tried to do sections, but it's best to spray the entire thing. Let it sit for five minutes after spraying it. The glue will be very tacky at that point and hold better. Then you can stretch it out and really lay it out. But you can see it came out very nice. It's not all uh, wrinkled up or anything like that. And uh, much better than it was. So let's go ahead and get this sprayed and tucked under and I'll show you guys how that comes out. And the reason why I use the painter's tape, I'm gonna add a little more over here, is so I can spray this without getting it all over the uh, rig. Okay, so now back to the reason why this process did not work specifically for me. Um, I felt that by pulling down the back side of it and re-gluing that would give me the best fit. And what I failed to learn on, what I, what I failed to know and learned on this one is that the back area, if it's not tucked, like when they make them stock, they tuck them up underneath and it's glued along that edge. So as it goes in and out, um, it's not pulling at the part that is glued down. So I cut mine thinking that this would make it really easy to fit up in there, and it did. But as soon as I opened up my sunroof, it jammed up and slightly threw the track off, making it even worse. One I failed to mention was my wife's BMW. And so I wanted to show you that real quick because this is another solution that I was able to come up with. Hers is a full panoramic roof. And man, was this an issue because I it had a drooping uh, sunroof, uh, I mean, sorry, a uh, headliner, and I tried to glue it on the other side thinking that I could fix it because it was basically pulling off from one side and just drooping in the middle. And I'm like, this is an easy fix. And once again, I didn't realize that these tracks were very sensitive. I got glue in the tracks and the whole thing came down. And now uh, our solution to this was, if you can see that is the perforated um, vinyl I picked up for about $10 a sheet on Amazon and I covered it on both of those and it's awesome now because now she has the panoramic roof open all the time kind of like a semi convertible and during the summer months we've already this has been up here for about six months now during the summer months it keeps the heat out and works perfectly so a disaster turned into something amazing because now she always has that view to the sky and during the hot times and during the middle of the day it does keep the heat out and protects that leather. Back to the Volkswagen. So, um, I was trying to figure out what I could do, and so what I did was rip the entire uh, sunroof headliner off again, and under there was a bunch of glue. So I basically picked up uh, one of these Brillo pads and just began to rub off all the glue to a point where it was down to another thin layer of fabric. And I started thinking, what can I do that would be a permanent stick to that? And I went through all the types of fabrics I could use and just kind of narrowed it down that it's going to be very difficult to glue up in there. It's going to cause an issue in the future when I try to open and close it. And then um, I started thinking, maybe I take the entire wood panel out and go with what my wife has, but it doesn't have the same look in these cars as it does in her BMW because they designed that to be open. So. Um, I went through my cabinet and I found uh, some paint that I had picked up a long time ago, uh, Kills, which basically is a very thick, heavy-duty paint. And I thought, man, if I could match the headliner and paint this on there, it might look good. Not perfect, not exactly what you want from factory, but good. So I went down to Lowe's and this was only a dollar. I got these on clearance at Lowe's. So I went down to Lowe's and they were able to mix a color I grabbed all their palettes they were able to mix a color that was very very close to my interior that I found um, I'll go ahead and grab that sample for you and give you guys the exact color um, it's in my car right now but we uh, and then I picked up some of these soft brushes for a dollar as well the entire pack was a dollar at um, a local store and so let me show you guys the results that I got and basically I've still got it taped up and all I did was take painter's tape and tape up all the plastic pieces and got the paint all in there. And you can see how close that color matches. And so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the color code for this. And I'll go ahead and take this painter's tape off because I just finished my last coat and it's dried. And I wanna show you guys what that looks like. All right guys, so I wanted to fill you in on the color in case any of you guys have a similar car. Um, now, I also want you to know that you can pick up 
paint specifically for your uh, color code off many different sites. Basically, um, seat dye is typically a paint. I don't know how well it's going to work on the headliner. But Cinnamon Sugar CI66, it is a Valspar color, even though they did mix that into the uh, Kills paint. Now, uh, here's a quick sneak preview. I'm going to be doing a video on this. I have not fully tested it, but I wanted to show you. Uh, I did use it on the armrest, and I restored the seat. And it is very soft, and I think it's going to be an awesome way to restore leather seats. So stay tuned for that video, because I just started to do this. I did paint this section a while back, and it held up really well. Um, but yeah, so back to the headliner. Let's take a look at how that looks. Obviously not perfect, not stock. Some of you guys are gonna say that looks absolutely terrible, but this resolves my issue of having a disgusting glue-like substance up there and for me to have to run down. And there's a little spot back here, not from the paint, but that's from something else that was already up there. So. Um, I'll probably be getting all that off when I clean this entire headliner. But yeah, that's uh, that's kind of how it blends. So it's not an eyesore anymore. It um, blends in with the, the, the top. And honestly, you don't really notice it when you step into the car anymore. So there's no drooping headliner. Um, if any of you guys have questions about this, something you might want to do, definitely chime in. I'm going to be playing around with the Mercedes and playing around with that headli the, the headliner for that uh, sunroof. And also the seats to come. So guys... Uh, this is how the seats looked before I cleaned them and restored them. So this one I have not touched yet. And as you can see, this one over here looked identical. And now after that coating. So stay tuned for that. I'm going to be doing a full video on the restoration of a leather seat. Thanks again, guys. Uh, like, subscribe, share. My name's Peter. You guys have an awesome day. Hopefully this helps somebody out out there. Thanks again.